Well, he didn't want me to put it there, so of course, what would have been easy. <laughs> now I gotta sit here and play. Stick it in the hole. So this is why you want those tandems all the way forward so you can stick it in the hole like that. Look at that, right on the line. Right on the line. Alright. Give me a little pull forward. Now I'll straighten her out. Right there. Alright. Back her in. Right on the line. There we go. Get on the hole. Alright, yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know. It's, well, hey, come on. It's my first backing of the morning and I'm tired. So. You can get out and look all you want. You got that trailer on that side too. Alright, I'll hug it over on that side because of my landing gear. What the hell? Maybe a mouse in here or something, I don't know. This truck is loaded with fucking ghosts. I'll tell you that. Well, okay, I'm a ghost. I'm Casper, B19. And uh, right. Well, it looks good to me. I guess I could come back a little bit add more. No, I don't know, whatever. I could have just pulled through. But you know what? I need to practice. Well, who needs practice? So now I gotta take all these little uh thingies back out because these are mine. And uh when I go hook up to this next trailer while I'm here. <sighs> Come on. Alright well this is um Blooms, Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania uh, area uh, where I'm staying at. This Wednesday morning, about 7.30 is the restaurant that's uh, next to the Motel 6 that I stayed at. And um, uh, be a little while to get in the truck today and heading back to Illinois. But we're going to give you a shot of the, uh, whatever, the area where I'm staying at. <laughs> it's too early in the morning for me, all right. Well, not really. And I'm sitting here waiting. Got my truck. And I'm just sitting here waiting to be released back to uh, Illinois. So, anyway... Got my bags, and um, there's my TV. Hey, got a refrigerator. And uh, on this side. Oh yeah, this is my kind of music, not really, but. All right, a desk. I don't have to have my little card table like in my Snyder truck. So, uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm gonna jam to this on the way home. No bolt thrower. All right, so. Oh yeah. They got a lot of trucks just uh, waiting for people to come and get them to drive. So it's safe. Everybody's lined up and ready to go. Here, uh, just everybody's kind of waiting for their assignments. So uh, I got mine. So come on, let's do this. All right. Well, 
that's it for for this part. <laughs> Good thing I can back up. This is what I'm backing into. All you can't even see it. It's pitch black back here. There's no lights. There's no nothing. Back all the way back here. I'm somewhere in Pennsylvania dropping off this trailer. Fucking A, man. Alright, I'm out here in Pennsylvania at a pilot. Just beautiful. Look at that ice. Solid ice. So, uh, cold, icy, um, whatever. I'm just trying to push this trailer back to, um, Illinois. And, um, whatever. So that's the, uh, I'm still, like I say, somewhere in Pennsylvania. Um, whatever. Heading west. Alright, that's that. Alright, so I'm fueled up. But I have to take my mandatory 30-minute uh, break. Um, I always combine my break, my 30-minute my break and my fuel at the same time. Um... I can't stay in where I'm at anyway because the lot's full and icy and you know and I'm kind of like triple parked <laughs> you know but this is nasty out there with the ice trailers coated in ice and uh, this lot's pretty well done so uh, I'm going to uh, eat chill out and then try to see if I can push this uh, further towards Illinois before I have to shut down for my 10 hours and uh, well that's the uh, this is the excitement of it's better than the bus like I said in that part on the with the bus I'd rather be in one of these trucks by myself than sitting on that damn bus so no matter what the weather is and no matter what else um this is way better than being on that greyhound and uh yeah so that's that's it for this little clip all right thanks well i'm sure you can hear the wind but uh it's 12 30 a.m and uh over there's a fellow uh metropolitan truck um but the um, wind's been kicking up pretty heavy. There was actually a, uh, you can see the ice kind of crazy, all the ice. Um, I was actually lucky to find a spot in a um, rest area. So, uh, so I'm gonna be, Oh yeah, rock it out, man. Anyway, there was a um, truck turned over in a ditch, kind of like that. Um, there was no way to really anybody could do anything about it coming through the mountains, uh, laying on the driver's side, and uh, looked like it was just just happened recently. Obviously, no emergency vehicles were there. So, I mean, it, it's just like something like that. It's like going in these downgrades and these guys are like beating on by. Like, are you out of your mind with the way the wind was and we were getting some sideways snow and uh, you got somebody just ripping on by and uh, next thing you know, you know, a few miles up the road, there's a truck laying on its side in the ditch. So... You know, nobody can stop to do anything about it. So I gotta take my uh, 10 hour and uh, shut her down and continue on after 10 hours. <laughs> oh, whatever. So, all right, well, that's, that's that. Thank you. Well, 
It's morning. Just waiting for my uh, reset to complete. Uh, having coffee and chilling in my bed. Bunk, whatever. It'd be nice to get back and uh, get home and get my gear so I can get this thing set up properly. But hopefully it'll be a nice day. I got this uh, facing out camera. So I'm gonna do a video on those, on these camera shit and things. So anyway, Lemmy the lemur, how'd you sleep Lemmy? I don't know, it doesn't say much. But nothing really exciting going on yet. All right, well, good morning. And, uh, well, actually, by the time you see it, it might be afternoon. I don't know when you're going to watch this. Okay, happy days. All right, well, I'm out of here. Time to uh, hit the road. I just wanted to point out one thing. No smoking, no pets, no shirt. All right. Shirt, shoes required. Doesn't say anything about pants. So, uh... I guess the pants are the only thing that's really optional in this building. So, all right. Well, enough of that. Oh yeah, truck stops. Trying to get into a spot that night. I'm at a TA, and I'm gonna try to get in there. If I can get a shot at uh, the old deal here. Yeah, you got it, buddy. You made it. Thank you. All right. I swear to God. You fucking people. Won't even give a sucker an even chance, man. Security will run you off the park or just ran that guy off. As soon as you... As soon as he comes around the car, he'll run me out of there. Oh, from moving, even getting close to this guy he next to me? He's in the park right here on the corner. Oh. That guy right there, I just ran him off. <laughs> it's a beautiful place, ain't it? Yeah. Great. All right, so I guess I won't be parking in that spot. All right, whatever. Oh, man. Well, I got a lot of spots, but... You don't really see them back here. Whatever. Difference between parking in a rest area and in a truck stop. Jesus Christ. They both have their things. All right, well that's it. I'm, I'm shutting down. Whatever. You know, I mean, this is the kind of stuff I, you know, we got to do. Just try to help each other out in some of these spots. You know, late at night, everybody's tired, had enough. This poor chump is trying to get in this dark spot between these two trucks. Now, just imagine if you were sitting there watching him and he crunched your truck. Wouldn't it be uh, better to? hop out and give them a hand. I mean, these aren't even my trucks. What should I care? But, you know what? We're all supposed to stick together, really. You got it. Alright, follow it around. Come around. Come around the other way. He keeps doing the same damn shit. Come around, dude. There you go. Bring it back. Come on. You're good. Follow it hard. Damn it. These guys, man, it's like, come on, cut it hard. Now you're cutting it right back into this guy's mirrors again. Whatever. Well, I'm gonna help this guy out and, and uh, have fun with that. so I made it back to Illinois so this is the end of the second video the first one obviously the Greyhound bus 
to uh, Pennsylvania. So now this is uh, the ride back after I get my truck from Pennsylvania back to uh, Illinois. Uh, overall, I guess with the, um, the orientation that was really easy, it was only two days. So uh, uh, I would say my biggest things were about it was that you got 14 trucks lined up and ready to go and you got one guy checking everybody out making sure that uh, they're kind of squared away on the truck with the Qualcomm. Uh, I did get kind of a little bit of hey I'm kind of pissed off at you because you showed them how to use the Qualcomm. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, um, the thing, the thing was about that was, so this one guy goes through 14 drivers, his name is Gil and you know, he's good guy, whatever. I call him the Sarge kind of looked like, you know, ex military, um, uh, definitely had that whole thing. Um, so you wait, so he comes and checks you out and you're hanging out in your truck until they come and get you. So we got to wait for 14 people to be checked out then you have a little meeting then you go all 14 have to go in and log in to the um, you know the little uh, blah blah whatever web page thing you know where your driver log in and where you get your stuff create a password so you got to sit there and watch everybody do that then you got to meet your uh, dispatcher and then um, you get your assignment so for me it was like by the time I was waiting for an empty trailer to come in I'm sitting in the truck waiting and waiting when are you gonna message me where is this trailer and I'm messaging him back and they're, oh he, oh he he's here he's out he's out in the yard waiting for you he's kind of parked in front of the trailer well, I'm like well when were you gonna tell me that you know I mean I'm sitting over here and he's way over there and this trucks coming in and out how the hell do I know who who he is or where he is and he doesn't know who I am so I'm sitting in here for like an hour waiting for this empty trailer that was already there so I mean to kind of kind of put that together a little better so by the time I even got out to go do my first assignment of taking this empty somewhere in Pennsylvania to do a drop I even pull out of their yard at five o'clock so I start my DOD DOT clock at 5 p.m. on Wednesday when I've been up since 6 in the morning already and uh, so you saw like the conditions it was at that gas station with the ice and everything and, uh, and the wind going through the Appalachian Mountains and the truck turned over and you know by the time it was like 1230 at night pretty much had enough so that's why I pulled off so I shut down was still five hours left on my clock which you know to me is a waste but well whatever I had to do it so I get up in the morning I continue on my journey and uh, I get into Ohio now I I was just figuring the first route first assignment that they give me I'm just gonna go by what they put on the Qual Qualcomm and let them route me all of a sudden it takes me off the highway and I'm going through all these little towns 25 miles an hour 35 and you know it's like those right turns where it's like this down main street where everybody's got to back up so i can make the right turn around uh why the hell would you route me through all that why would you not just keep me on 80 coming back so now i'm out in cornfields just zigzagging on the back roads and i and i i was annoyed so i call them and i said i'm like why you have me on this shit ass route? I mean, that, I mean that's just the way I say it. You know, I'm gonna tell them straight up. Why you got me on this shit ass route? Why am I out here in the weeds? And they're like, oh, that's the the cheapest route. I'm like the cheapest route. I'm like, well, yeah, it avoids the tolls. Well, you know what? I'm I want to move the freight and get going. Well, anyway, I kind of had my little thing about it, and um, uh. Well, that wasted about two and a half hours of their zigzagging around the back roads 
and through little smaller towns and traffic lights and everything else to avoid these tolls. I finally end up catching back on 8090 coming around through South Bend and the Gary, Indiana. And uh, I don't know, it was just a waste of time. I ended up in that um, PA truck stop where I was helping uh, somebody back in. And uh, anyway, so I leave out of there at six in the morning, get to my destination. I drop the load, I pick up an empty. They want me to run that to somewhere else. I'm like, all right, this one I'm gonna do. I'm gonna check their Qualcomm route versus my route. We're right back in the weeds, driving all over and around. Why would the hell would you do that? So when I got to my stop, it was a live load. And I called them, and I said again, you know, look, uh, I just don't know why you guys do that, but I'm going to run my own routes. So my suggestion, you know, I mean, like I said, it was my first run with them. I didn't want to start running my own route and then have them getting all salty on me, you know, about it. You know, like, oh, gee, you know, you got, you know, we gave you a route and you didn't follow it. So, well, I'm going to run my own route. I'm just going to do what I want to do. So, um, you know, it's about getting it there as fast as possible and saving as much as your DOT clock as possible, not goofing around in the back roads. So, um, I'm in the, uh, metro yard now waiting for, uh, waiting for a ride to get picked up and, um, do my shutdown for the weekend and then back at it on, uh, Monday and... I'll see how it goes. Now, the next thing is um, we'll see how they pay and all that. So um, I'm gonna kind of leave it at that. I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a little thing about their little camera. They say it's just a facing out camera with no mic. Okay. So whatever. Um, so that was this is the uh, end of that whole adventure, starting from getting on the Greyhound bus to go out to orientation to. Uh, getting the truck and coming back and getting to the yard. Um, I'll just have to uh, see how it goes from there. All right, well, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Be safe out there.